Hello, we've been working with mobile GIS data, specifically data being served up by Esri's new mapping platform, ArcGIS Online. The application you're looking at is running on an Android tablet. It's a cross-platform application that could just as easily be running on an iPad. The data we're going to look at today is uh, oil and gas data. This is actually in central Utah. It's uh, the, the layers we've got visualized here are, are gas and oil fields and uh, oil and gas wells. Um, we're going to walk through a couple of scenarios here. Um, the, the goal of the application is actually to provide the ability to collect data in both online and offline mode. So if you've got no Wi-Fi connectivity, the application is still able to function and you can still update a server. We've, uh, we, we've published the data to a web map, which is what you're looking at here. Um, the, there's a base map. Um, and uh, there are these the, the two layers I've just mentioned on top. The the oil well data is actually the point data you're looking at here. We've published that as a hosted feature service to ArcGIS Online. So that's the uh, in this example, this is that's the layer we're going to edit. We're actually going to both edit and add attachments to uh, one of those wells. So let's go ahead and interact with the application. Uh, as you can see, it's as you'd expect, um, pan, zoom. Um, it's got we've got the ability to turn the layers on and off as well. Um, let's just go ahead and take a look at one of the. Actually, let's take a look at the oil field and see data there. You can actually see that there's a, a whole slew of um, attribute data attached to that uh, particular oil field. Similarly, let's do the same with uh, one of the. Sometimes you're a little bit tough to close. There we go. Um, let's do the same with one of the oil wells. And you can see there's a whole load of information there. There's the county, there's the well name, there's the type of lease and the company. It's New Field Production Company who own that particular well. What we're going to do next is just simply um, select the edit button. Now we've actually made that layer editable. So you can see when we select that and I'm actually going to zoom this out slightly so we can see it properly. It's got a lot of data attached to these oil wells. So you can see there that we've actually got um, a different pop-up that's come up. Now that's uh, that's now an editable, um, those are editable fields so we can change any of those attributes that we're looking at there. What we're going to do in this case is simply add a, um, we're going to add an attachment to, oops, Let's go back. That was a that was a link we hit there. We're going to actually there's actually a link in the map to the to Esri's website, which is kind of clever by Esri. So there's an there's an attachments option in the bottom right hand corner. This gives us the ability to actually, actually attach an image to that particular well. So now can we can we collect attribute data and edit attribute data? We can also attach imagery. So let's go ahead and just hit that button and it's going to look for images on the on the device itself. Now we've actually got a, an image already stored on the device. Let's go ahead and submit that. What that's actually done is updated the server with that with that information. And you can actually see that image added to the window there. Let's go ahead and close that. Come out of edit mode and we'll hit that point or that feature. And there we go. You can actually see now that uh, that's now attached as an attribute to that particular well. And if we tap the uh, image, then we actually see that image, which is associated with that particular well. So let's go back and close that. So as I mentioned, we've uh, we've set this application not only allows you to um, to work online, which we are now, but also offline. Now, there's areas which are both no Wi-Fi connectivity and poor Wi-Fi connectivity. So we allow users actually to um, to load the offline data themselves. And there we go. Now, you'll notice the base maps disappeared. There's licensing issues around um, those base maps. And we, so in, te in, in ArcGIS 10.1, you can generate something called a TPK ATAR package. Uh, if you've got the right licensing and that can actually be loaded onto the device itself. We don't have the licensing 
for that particular base layer for this area of Utah so uh, we've not included that. The application does um, include the ability to consume those TPK so if we had the license you'd, you'd see it. Um, let's just go ahead and do some editing here so we've we've got the let's again just tap features just to make sure that we're getting the, the correct data there we go so we so we're in offline mode and we're still able to see the attributes but let's go ahead and walk through a scenario where we actually want to add an oil well let's m imagine we've got an oil well out here that we want to add there it is there's the attributes that we can update with that information we're not going to do any of that at the minute we're just going to keep that that uh, that uh, well included here now we're going to go back online and what you'll immediately notice is that oil well disappeared even though we stored it on the device the information we need to update the server and we make that we made that manual process so we've actually got a button in here called apply offline edits if we tap that button you'll actually see that oil well um, now included in the uh, in the in the map, that's now updated the server. So the hosted feature service that we have in ArcGIS Online has now been updated with that information. Um, thanks for watching.